Hello everyone, Crystal Vigia here. Welcome to Nasty's Loot. This is the final part of my let's play of Spyro Reignited Trilogy Spyro 1. We are entering with 12,000 gems, 12,000 treasure, 12000, and we're going to end end up with 14,000, not 15,000. 15,000 would be like a sort of a more rounded number, but I guess they, they didn't think of going for that. They didn't want to do it. This is it, Nasty's Loot. Wow. So the concept of Nasty's Loot, as you may remember, is that there are a lot of gems. Look at that. That is just a, right there, we're starting off with, yeah, 25. Look at that. Look almost, look, to me, I'm looking at that and it's looking, it's looking like the bloody, you know, Spyro gems, uh, you know, it looks, looks more like the, 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 you know, purple, you know, in, um, in Spyro 2 and 3 and that. In fact, it, it's very similar. In fact, it's basically the same color. But the concept of this level is we can only go as high as we actually get set up to, which is a cool concept. And you know what? I think they should use it again. I actually, I actually like it as an idea. Um, oh, I don't. There you go. Basically, yeah, I think they should use it again because I think that it makes for like a really creative level design. So we've got to, you know, we've got to get to certain things, unlock keys to unlock doors, so then we can, you know do more so for example we go over here unlock this key and now we can go up higher so yeah obviously I'm, I'm preaching to a choir that you know you guys already know this but you know in case you are a first time viewer first time Spyro player or you're just watching this and you want to take the plunge to get the game you know let me go all right so now I've got enough room to make it to this section isn't this glorious this music, it's like such a rewarding track. It's just like, it's like all everywhere and stuff like that, but in a, in a good way. It's just like, it's just so, I don't know, intense. No, maybe not the word, maybe the word I'm looking for isn't intense, but just like, whoa, you know, just like everything's going crazy. Like, this is outrageous. This is contagious. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Tricking him. Look at the grass here. Jeez. They're making the grass so hard to like, can't see anything. All right. Next one. Where was it? Up here? Yes. What I'm really excited to see, actually, out of anything, is Nasty's, like, his actual loot room. Um, geez, you cannot see those gems. All right. Flying feels slower to me. I don't know if it's just a placebo effect though. I know that, I remember like, like when you flew lower, you get more speed, but I feel like you don't when you do it like this. Okay, yeah, so is he, is he avoiding me? He is avoiding me like the plague. All right. Damn it. Oh, this could be a really annoying escapade. I don't ever, I don't ever remember there being a time where if you got too fast, he'd turn around. I actually don't remember that happening at all. Come on, motherfucker. There we go. Jeez. Yes, another door. This is my least favorite one. The one coming up here. I just do not like it, Sam. I am. Because, especially with this two. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Lava tube in, uh, in, in Jack. Do you get that lava tube vibe? Because I totally do. Yeah, this does not feel as fast. I like, uh, just in general, it's just slower. Do not want to fall in. I'm going to fall in. I think you got it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Wasn't that good. You know what? In fairness, if I was to do this in uh, the original version, that probably would have taken me like an hour. There we go. Next door. So yeah, so basically it's like, okay, look at this. Go up here and now you're tall enough. You know, you can go high enough to reach other places. So now we're gonna reap some more rewards. Bunch of 
chests that need to be exploded. I'm not talking about a killer pack workout. Okay, is this the one? Yes, it is. It is so satisfying just seeing so many gems. And they obviously take that to like an extreme in Super Bonus Round, which is, um, in my opinion, one of the most disappointing things in the whole Spyro series, to be perfectly honest. Because uh, it could have been more, you know, it could have been it could have been better. It's not, not that it was bad, not all it was bad, but it could have been better. Alright, what about this one? No. What am I missing? Hmm. What area am I missing? I must be missing it. It must be pretty obvious. I've just completely missed it. Uh, let's think. Never really struggled to think where it could be. Um, it's around here. There it is. Right here. Yes, it is. They're hidden everywhere. Alright, this is what we've been waiting for the whole time. We are going into the bit from the first cutscene. Here we go. Look at this. How cool is this? I've got questions though, I've got questions. Okay, so it's sort of displayed a bit differently than it is in the original. The gems are placed differently. Yeah, definitely. Oh, jeez. I got no. What a perfect way to end it actually, by manually collecting gems. We don't need no sparks for this. Just floating gem. We're gonna look at all this stuff on the wall, though. It's like a vault. So obviously there used to be a picture up there on the original version, but what is all this stuff? Like imagination rhymes with devastation, and that looks like Jacques. Confidence. There's nothing standing between you and your goal, but a little tiny purple dragon. It's like so that means he knew early on that he was in trouble. Here's the interesting thing. Teamwork is norks who can't do it themselves, and it's a picture of Skellis Badlands. Knowledge is the power to turn dragons into crystal. Patience is for dragons. Alright, look at that. Let's get a screenshot of that. Isn't that gorgeous? Final part right there. Does it say practice? It's not about being the best, it's about destroying everyone else. What does that mean? What is that? What level is that in? Is that Metalhead? Yeah. Knowledge, patience, imagination. So yeah, very interesting thing. My question is, what are all these love letters? Like, are these like letters to who or letters from someone? What does that actually mean? I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Is he in love with himself? Is he writing letters to himself? Or is it mysterious fourth villain? Um, or a new villain, potentially. No, it's not. But what does it say there? Get out. No entry. And no... No Spyro. Yeah. That makes no real sense, but... I'll take it. Okay. So... With that being said, I don't have Sparks. And I don't want to die in here. So, what we should do, because we've only been going for less than like 10 minutes, we might as well, um... Oh, there it is. It's probably right here. This is it. That's it. 2,000 out of 2,000. 100% complete. There you go. Hoarder. We are done now officially with Spyro 1. Can you believe it? And what a journey it's been. What an absolute journey. It's been fun. It's taken a long time. I apologize for how long it's taken. But I'm excited that it's now over because it means that we get to do Spyro uh, you know, 2. Which I've got, you know, overall I've got a lot to say about Spyro 2, especially with Reignited. Um, got a lot of strengths and weaknesses, so I'm keen to talk about it. We're not going to show the credits off again because it's the exact same. It's not like the awesomeness of the original game where you get to fly through the levels. I wish they did that. And again, this is a thing where if they got six months more time, guarantee they would have done it. Guarantee they would have done it. They would have just put the, some of that artwork you see in the credits. They would have just put that in the art gallery thing. You know, like that, may, that to me seems like a really obvious thing. But with that, we're going to end the Let's Play. Wondering what is over there, like what is the rest of this level? Like there is so much other stuff in the background. I want to get there, even though I know they've coded nothing, but you know, whatever. 
Thank you guys so much for watching though. The support has been amazing as it is always, but really it's been exceptional for this. I'm, gl I'm glad to see your comments. I do read everything. I do read absolutely everything you write. So uh, that's why that's why you, you can't leave any you can't leave any negative comments because you know I'm gonna be very upset. I'll cry my, my eyes out. But no, thank you guys so much for watching. It's always appreciated, and I'll be back with Spyro Mother Freakin' 2. See you then.